Purple Gallop here, and today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get Smash Bros. Amiibo hack to get the best possible stats. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need an Amiibo, you're gonna need a 3DS, gonna take the 3DS SD card out, put it in a phone or a computer, then you're gonna go to your search engine, and you're going to search Smash Bros Amiibo 3DS Homebrew Hack. You're going to click that. It'll show a GBA temp page. Click that. Scroll down right before a QR code or where it says show. And you're going to click view releases. Wrong one. Sorry. Right here. So I'll show you that. Releases are here. You're going to click that. It'll load you into GitHub. That's where you download it. You're going to scroll down. Um, and you're going to click whichever one you need. CIA for CFW, custom firmware, and 3DSX for homebrew. You're going to copy that file from your downloads directory into your um, 3DS folder on your SD card. And then you put the SD card back in the 3DS. Mine's already in my 3DS, so I'm loading sound hacks. Okay, sound hacks is loaded in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. Alright, so it's going to say Smash Amiibo Cheat Tool. going to click that. It's going to load. going to show that line of code. It's going to say Hack. Here. Hack, Restore, Backup, Brute Force, App data writing only dump app data custom file writing change f custom moves app data randomizing. You're gonna click hack, it's gonna say you can now place your amiibo on the touch screen. And then this line of code will pop up. Except yours won't say Classic Man. Mine will because it's the Mario Classic and I, that's what I wanted to name it. It's going to say Hello Classic Man. Classic Man's data successfully loaded. Opening app data and all this. So once that's done, you're going to take it off. And the screen light will be on. Gonna click B. Press start to continue. And there you go, your amiibo is hacked. Now we're we can try it out in Smash Bros. That I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure I wanna be safe with this and make sure it worked. Probably thinking why wouldn't it work? I mean, you're showing us. See, at first the red, that'll be a red light, and then it'll turn green. Make sure all of this is good. And then, you're gonna, um, after waiting 30 seconds, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna, um, get it off the 3DS. You can do it when it says you can now safely remove Classic Man or whatever your amiibo's name from the touch screen. So I'm going to remove it. Press start.
Actually, press B, then press start. Then you go to the homebrew, press start again, and press X to reboot into the regular home menu. It'll pop up this message, don't worry, that's normal. You're going to load Smash Bros. And to show you guys, I'm going to do a demo of a CPU level 9 fighting this. Luigi versus Mario. Alright, it's gonna be good. Ready to start. Oh, I need to put it on CPU. Level 9. Watch this. Omega form of Bastion. See, my amiibo is so fast and so agile right now. You can barely see him. Damage 85 and Mario only has 21. And Luigi got wrecked. Alright guys, well, I'm going to pause the video and show you what in, at the end, after this smash attack. Get away, Mario. Oh, Mario. It's probably going to be a sudden death. Oh no, Mario's like right back. Mario's like, you can't defeat me, man. Alright, 20 seconds left, guys. And Mario's still alive and running. Come on, Mario. Mario wins. Alright, guys. See ya. Everything's boosted. Everything's good. He won. Later.